It's King Carlos here, bro, back with another video. I want to speak on some shit, man. Uh, uh, they basically show the image. It uh, shows some audio, young boy in jail and stuff like that, speaking on his daughter having COVID. And um, it's what I, it's like I said, man, everybody's gangster and hard till they get in the pen, man. And I'm not saying he's afraid, but see, he want to be free. And nigga, you was free. You were free to do things that most people can't imagine. You were getting crazy amounts of money, but you wanted to be this crazy introvert. And everybody is fake and everybody is a bitch. And you only you're real. And, and don't get it twisted. Like when it comes to the industry shit, like Batman Kevo, I don't think the NBA Young Boys blackball. I don't. Batman, the Batman Kevo interview, what he said, I do agree with that. And a lot of times, you have a lot of people at that, but that's the, put it like this, bro. If you a real motherfucker, the most high didn't make any of us special. There are more real motherfuckers out there. They're just not in great number. There's not really, there's not nearly as many leaders as there are followers. There'll never be. It's going to always be a few leaders and a lot of followers. So I'm not going to say that you need to collaborate and be cool and, 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 and grab hold of every olive branch that's extended to you because some motherfuckers are foul and they only want to get close to you. So whenever, because they, they only want to get close to you to have you in their corner because you're real. You understand what I'm saying? They only want to have you in their corner, bro, because you actually a real motherfucker. You actually are gangster. You see it all the time. Like, like a scary motherfucker will go out to a hood, right? And he'll try to recruit the most thuggest gangster niggas he can find because he's scary. And so when some shit happens, he has some real protection on his side. Because if you weren't on his side and you could be against him, you could fuck him over. That's why he reaching out to you. Or if you want another team when it comes to like this music shit, they reach out because you're going to surpass them. Like, put it like this. And a lot of these niggas are indifferent about it. Not, and I'm not trying to say all. Not all, but a lot of these niggas that collaborate with Fredo Bang and shit like that, a lot of these niggas either wanted to be cool, tried to be cool and it didn't work, were cool and they fell out. Some kind of connection with Youngboy. I've noticed that. it's all These niggas have all been cool with NBA Youngboy. He either stopped fucking with them for some reason or... um, I, I, don't, I don't know what it is. It's always some situation that happened or maybe he didn't want to be cool with them niggas at first. But it's always that. And it's like the next best thing to stay in his life is to be cool with somebody who he's an enemy against. That way you all. That, and I know that sounds kind of crazy, but it's like, all right, bro. You got to ask yourself. Because cause then I remember niggas was like, bro, if you look up OTF and um and uh, TBG being cool. Motherfucker. When Fred, nigga, Lil Dark, when his hair was blonde, was on the phone with NBA Youngboy and shit. They were trying to link up. So that lets you, I'm like, no. He linked up with him because he found out that, oh, that's the enemy of that nigga. So I can still kind of be in his life and live in his head, but I'll just be an enemy instead of being a friend. I can still be around him. And I know that sounds kind of weird on some D-Rod and stuff, but that's how it comes off, man. It's always some nigga that either was cool with young boy or wanted to be cool with young boy that goes to be cool with Fred O'Bain. Not all of them. Some of those friendships he has are legit and were built off just him being friends. Like a lot of the relationships with niggas in Florida, those are naturally built because he moved to Florida. You know what I'm saying? He was in and out of Florida for a long time. Even before he moved down there, you know, the relationship with Hot Boy and as far as him knowing Kodak Black and him been knowing Jack Boy for a long time, which he has been, bro. They've been locked in. But as far as with Little Dirk and uh, that's that's that that not that, 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 mainly the Dirk situation because the Pooh Shiesty and Big Thirty one, I've seen. I know. I know for a fact that Seven Hardaway and and Yoshi have done a song with um. With Pooh Shiesty and Big 30 before. I know that. But as far as the OTF situation, as far as the money bag yo shit, man, you know damn well that nigga made that damn fed baby tape that didn't come out. All of a sudden you cool with us. It's like a it's a and it's a few more niggas. I can't name all of them guys I don't pay attention, but y'all can. It's always some type of connection like that to that nigga, man. But the main point of this video is I don't I don't I don't I'm not saying he shouldn't be sad, but it's like, all right, bro, you have to see. This is why you need to appreciate things while they're here. Listen, bro, there's nothing wrong with this. Is why you need to live a little. Some of them branches, not all of them, some of them branches could have kept you out of this shit. Like he was trying to clean up his image. It was already too late, but you could have, you could have, some of these branches that was extended out. Like if he would have been to the, to the BT Wars and shit, he didn't have to be cool with everybody, but maybe he went with Boosie or something like that. Well, not Boosie, right? Well, back when Boosie was going to the BT Awards, like 2017, 18, if Youngboy would have been going with him and stuff like that and popping out at these award shows, and letting it be known that, hey, this type of nigga I fuck with, because everybody don't fuck with Boosie, but Boosie still does enough, shakes enough hands to where he don't got to be, he ain't, worry about, he ain't got to worry about just canceling out bags, but he don't fuck with everybody. But it's certain people Boosie do fuck with. You know what I'm saying? I seen Youngboy do the song with Snoop Dogg. 
Snoop Dogg shit faker than anybody. Snoop Dogg ain't got no type of side. That nigga is just, Snoop Dogg is like, to me, Snoop Dogg and Drake are like symbiotes. And I know I read comments a lot, so I know, yeah. But I look at Snoop and Drake like symbiotes. They could be cool with anybody. They just mold. They don't have a shape. They don't have a true agenda. They don't have a true backbone. They could just mold onto whatever backbone. They could just mold onto whoever they're around and they could just become like them, which is a very bad fake trait to have. That's the type of motherfucker that lives long because he's a coward and snakes to the other side when it's time before the war to come. And now he's on the villain side. He kept him kill you. He was on your side with y'all was the numbers, but now that y'all lost numbers, he's joined the opposing side with the numbers. So that type of motherfucker. So yeah, man, I don't blame him for not want to be out, but hey. And not even just the fuck that. It's not even just about that. The toting, the really, bro, the toting guns, the, the being gangster for no reason. The just, the starting fight, the going out on your own to the mall, starting fights, the riding around with ratchets and shit when you already have enough money to have armed security. Y'all could be in an island somewhere. Just like whenever he was with his girl. Um, that that was a cool scene when he was with his girl out there. And I think, I don't know if they was in the Himalayas or whatever they was. It was somewhere cold. Stuff like that, bro. He should have been doing that stuff. He didn't have to travel the whole time, you know what I'm saying? But taking his kids out, bro. You could have been doing that, bro. And this is why I say, and I'm going to make another video about that. It's a whole different topic, but y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm going to make a video about the multiple baby mama shit. That's just in black community. That shit has to stop, too. That's why we're not, you, it's hard. You can't raise kids like that. I'm going to explain that in another video, though.